Jubilee Coalition leaders have dismissed yesterday's statement by Rilo Odinga as a fear of losing in next year's general election. National Assembly Majority Leader Aidan Diwale and TNA Chairman Johnson Sakaja say the opposition has sensed defeat after President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto started making inroads in court strongholds. The rigging is, uh, the rigging is about preparing their supporters. They have sensed defeat. They are beneficiaries of, uh, of coalition government. They are preparing because they know they have lost ground in Western Province, which was their, which was their stronghold. They have lost ground in Coast Province. And Malindi seat will be the deciding factor. I was there. They're losing ground in Kisi. They're losing ground in the, uh, in the pastoral areas. They lose ground in Nairobi. So they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, the die is cast and they're preparing their supporters psychologically that uh, there's rigging because they know they're going to lose the next general election. They were responding to Ryla's allegations that Jubilee Coalition is buying off opposition MPs and planning to rig the elections. Duale has also rubbished Ryla's assertions that the government is the most corrupt administration in Kenya's history. Yes, this government has taken the war on corruption head on and we will turn it into an achievement for this coalition when the time comes. Because it's only this government under the leadership of the president that over 375 public servants, from ministers who are very close to the presidency, to county government, have been arraigned in court and prosecuted. It's only this government that by action has funded key independent oversight institutions, the DPP, the, the Auditor General's Office, and the EACC. <laughs> I'm Angela Wamboy for Capital TV. <laughs>